All right, hey guys. Um, so I'm just coming at y'all with this straight up disclaimer, like don't judge me, don't judge this little ass ponytail right now. I'm gonna just show you guys how I achieved a stylish top knot bun. And you can also achieve this if you have short hair as well. You just need really good holding gel. Um, I do have a pixie cut, as you guys may have known, and um, I was able to actually get my hair up in a ponytail, like so. So anyway, like I said, don't judge me. Don't judge this ponytail because I know it looks a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm going to take my Eco Styler gel. It's like one of the best gels that are out nowadays. And all I did was I basically just gelled my hair up. Um, my hair is freshly washed, so I just gelled my hair up to my liking. And um, I'm just taking my Nairobi foamy wrap lotion now and I'm just going to be applying it to the sides of my hair just like I would do if I was wrapping my hair for like a pixie cut or um, a certain style like that so I'm just basically applying it to you know the undercut of the hair and um, just applying enough for it so that it lays down flat and I'm just basically applying it to the sides and to the back and I really want this um, style to be really really flat on the side so I'm going to be brushing in the foamy wrap lotion so that it's like really really um, concentrated in the hair and I'm just basically just putting more on to where I feel that it needs it and I am just you know brushing the hair and making sure that it's really really flat styling it and just kind of forming the hair to my face and um, just things so that it looks decent and it's not like straight down flat on the side so then I'm going to take my um my wrapping paper you guys see me use this in one of my previous videos so I'm just going to do the same thing just apply it to the back and sides of the hair just so that um I can get that extra extra flatness on the side honey um we don't need nothing sticking up no flyaways or anything like that so this is going to help um them to lay down so the hair that I'm using is a jumbo braiding hair, jumbo braiding hair. It's by Bobby Boss. You can use whatever brand you want. I just so happen to pick this one up. Um, what I'm doing right now is just basically trying to taper the hair down to the ends. And then I'm going to take this rubber band here that's already on the hair. And it's super, super easy. And it works out really good this way. So you can just take that rubber band, apply it to your um, ponytail or if you want to apply another hair tie you can it's all preference so basically what you're going to do is you're going to keep the two um, strands of hair to the side like I, like you see one um, in the back and one here that I'm twisting around and you just take one strand and you just basically just twist around and twisting 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 and you keep that loose hair the loose strand like under the hair that you're twisting if that makes any sense so you see how I'm kind of wrapping it around going on top of the strand of hair that's loose and just wrapping it around my ponytail and it's all up to you as far as how tight you want to go the tighter you go on the twist the higher the bun is I really don't like those really really high buns so I'm not really tying it too tight but I'm tying it where I'm tying it enough to where I know that it's pretty secure and as you can see, I didn't have to use any bobby pins. I just basically tapered the hair all the way into the bun and just kind of tucked it as I went. So now I'm going to take the other loose strand of hair and twist it the opposite way around. And the same idea, guys, just twist it, twist it, twist it. And kind of form it as you go because you don't want it to be flat. You don't want it to be too tall. I mean, really, it's up to you guys. But, I mean, I want it to look more like a bun not like a pile of shit <laughs> just kidding but um, anyway I'm just tying it um, as you can see you see how when I tied it a little tighter it kind of got a little higher and I mean this is probably the highest length that I would go because my head is already long my head is already big and I don't really need anything to accentuate that at all so instead of me going underneath at the bottom or at the base of the bun I'm just kind of taking that loose piece and doing it like at the second step or the second I don't know how to but basically I'm not putting it to the bottom I'm putting it to the top and that little extra piece of strand of hair is actually tightening up that last piece of strand that I wrapped around so it's pretty secure I mean I'm not going to be doing anything wild and crazy to where you know it'll fall out but it's pretty tight 
So any loose strands, you just want to cut those off. Just to make things look a little bit more, a um, little bit more uniform. Some people like to keep the loose strand because it looks more natural. I mean, it's like I said, it's all up to you. So I'm basically just going to be taking off that wrapping paper. And my hair is not completely dry at this point, but it's okay. Um, so I'm just basically just brushing the hair down. It's, you know, it's, it's air dried. So I'm going to take my Echo Styler gel again. And y'all know we all have that, that edge toothbrush <laughs> and make them baby edges, honey. So I'm just trying to just make it look a little bit more swirly at the top so it's not so straight back because honey this forehead is big but that's okay that's how God bless me so here is the completed look um, sorry guys I didn't really show you the parting on this hair because that was like the hardest part of this style is getting that part perfect, especially when your hair is short in the back like this. Um, but I think I did pretty good. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.